Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of NYX makeup. Um, so, as always, my number one rule whenever I do reviews on makeup, I try to get it as cheaply as possible. Um, so this makeup set that I bought is it's a pore filler primer, uh, liquid illuminator, uh, brow setter, um, eyeshadow base, finishing powder, it's a first base setting spray and then a matte finish and they're all mini products and I bought this for 16 euro. It was like 32 I think. Um, so I'm going to get started with priming and all that in a minute but I just want to go through all these as well that a lot of these I bought reduced as well and um, some things I bought full price and a lot of them I bought reduced because there was a stand in San Macaulay's in Douglas that they were getting rid of so they had everything reduced and a lot of it was reduced down to like four euro so I always look for the cheap way, really, uh, because makeup is so expensive. If you can save a bit, why not? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pore filler, pore filling primer. Um, so it's skin color, it kind of has a tint to it. And I'm just going to start by putting it underneath my eye. A little bit goes a long way. I hurt my finger, so there was a plaster on it. The luminator. Um, this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to put it on my finger, I'm just going to swipe it on the back of my hand and tap it on. That's a really nice highlight. I'm going to apply foundation on top. So the foundation I have is the NYX Stay Matte but not flat in shade soft beige there we go so i think i'm just going to take my brush and just apply that all over my face It's definitely good coverage. I wouldn't say full coverage because I can still see some redness, but I would say medium. It still covers up a lot. Okay. So I'm quite happy with how that has applied actually. Um, I do like how it has applied. I like how it's looking so far. Um, I did squirt out a bit too much foundation, but that's okay. Uh, I would say you don't really need too much. I'd say two or three, squeeze the bottle two or three times and that should be enough. We're a full price for the concealer. Um, most of the products in general for NYX are about, okay, so like the foundation and concealer and like brushes and bronzers, blushes and bronzers, sorry is what I meant to say, uh, they're all around 10 euro, 
between uh, about 12 and 10. Um, but then when you go on to the big palettes, like the contour palettes, um, contour palettes, uh, the highlight palette, uh, they're, they're quite expensive. They're or about 20 euro, maybe more. So you pay a bit more for those. Uh, I'm just going to get my brush now to blend out the concealer. So that's it for concealer. For now, I'm going to use setting powder. And I'm just going to use this setting powder, which is the HD finishing powder. And it's a travel size primer or setting powder. And I'm just going to take this brush. I don't know the name of it because it's just a Primark brush. Going to do is bronzer, and um, so this is the NYX matte bronzer. There is a difference between the bronzers in NYX because there's this matte bronzer, and uh, so this is what it looks like. It comes in a mirror, and um, so I'm just going to get a bronzing brush. And this is a Real Techniques powder brush, and I like using this for bronzer. Okay, it's not a bad bronzer. Um, it is a bit orangey on me, but I don't mind that. Again, it just depends on what you're looking for. So I don't think that bronzer was bad, really. Uh, it was quite nice, actually. Um, I just feel like I put on a bit too much down here, so I'm just going to wipe it off. So I like where that is now. Okay. So now... Now that I have bronzer done, I'm going to move on and do blush. Uh, so the blush that I have is the... Uh, it's just high definition blush in the shade Amber. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice peachy pink shade. going to apply that finding the color a bit slow to go up and having to dig it in and I'm not really tapping the powder off too much. I'm actually just tapping it off lightly. So I'm keeping most of the product on it. Because I'm finding it really hard to build it up. That I'm really having to dig into the powder. So for her, this is the only product that I'm not liking. Again, there's a lot of 
kick back and fall out as well. Um, that's the only product I don't have in legs so far. Um, just going to take my brush again just to calm it down a bit because I think I went in a bit too heavy trying to build it up. But it is a nice peach shade. I finally got it to build up to a nice shade. So the next thing I'm going to do is brows. Hang on. Actually, what I'll do is I'll finish doing your face and then I'll be going to it brows and eyes and all that. So the next thing I'm going to use is the NYX Love You So Muchy uh, Highlight Palette. Uh, so this was a trendy thing that came out where it's like a highlight but it's meant to be like uh, like um, it's, it's squishy. It's like a wet texture. So I'm just going to I dipped into this one before uh, here and I did like it. It's a really nice like icy highlight if that's what you're looking for. And I but I quite liked it. Um so you can see it there already. Um it's quite a nice highlight, but as I said, it's quite like icy if that's what you're looking for. Um uh, but I quite like it. And that's only dipping into one shade. It is dipping in a few times, but it is a nice highlighter. It is really nice. It, as I said, it's quite icy if that's what you're looking for, but it is a really nice highlighter. There we go. And you know, you can keep building it up to where you want it to be. Just as I always say, it depends on what you're looking for. Okay, so that's highlight done. Um, the next, so as I said, I'm going to move on to brows now. Um, so I did use this eyebrow pencil before. I didn't really like it. I find it very hard and you really have to like press on it to make it glide on it's very stiff kind of um because an eyebrow pencil that i would always use is maybelline uh, it's the exact same as this was like a crayon but it just glides on so much easier and it's just an eyebrow pencil that I always use. Okay, so that's one side done. Compared to the other side, now I'm just going to brush this up. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply it. Okay. Um, so again, as I said, I always find this hard to apply because I find it's really stiff. Uh, but I got it to work. I, I can always get it to work. It's just a bit stiff, really. Um, and it's not the easiest thing to apply. So now I am just going to use brow 
gel setter. So I'm just combing it through the brows. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to use is the eye primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyes and then I'll get into the eyeshadow palette that I have. So I'm just going to, so I'm just blending this all out over my eyelid. Um, I do think this eye primer has um, a tint to it to the point where I think it actually nearly blends in with my foundation. It's quite a thick primer actually. Um, I'm not actually going to set it. I'm just going to go straight in with the eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette I have is called NYX Beauty School Dropout 101 Nude. And this is the eyeshadow palette where just a basic nude, small six pan eyeshadow palette. I don't actually have a price for this because when Sam called a while ago, they were doing an offer where if you spend over a certain amount of money, you got this palette for free. And that's what I did. I, oh, I couldn't remember how much it was that you had to spend, uh, but you got the eyeshadow palette for free. So I'm just going in with the white shade all over my eyelid, just to set everything in place. And I think this is the lightest shade here, so I'm going to go in with that first. Um, they don't think these have names. So I'm just going into the crease with that. Uh, straight away it's very pigmented. It's blending easily. And the pigment went on straight away. So these are really nice shadows so far. They're applying easily, they're blending easily, and they are very pigmented. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to take the darkest shade, apply that to the outer edge. So I'm going to get brush. Um, this dark shade down here, I'm finding it a bit hard to, this shade here, just a bit hard to apply and blend out. It's taking a bit of packing it and then blending it in. So now I'm just going to take a glitter shade um, and just apply that to the lid. Um, I think I'm just going to take a gold shade. So 
So it's just your basic like shimmer. It's not really, um, it doesn't really make too much of an impact. Uh, I'm going to take the one next to it in the middle as well and just apply that on top. See how that looks. I'm just going to do the same on this side, applying the shimmer all over the lid. And I'm going to take, do the same thing. I'm going to take the darker shimmer and apply that all over on top as well. Okay, so I'm just going to point out in the palette what I did. Um, so these two shades here, I took them and applied them on my eyelid. And then the shade up here, I put in the inner corner for a bit of highlight. Um, they did apply nicely. Um, I don't think they make too much of an impact. Um, So I'm just going to take the light brown shade again and apply that underneath my eye. Match it up to here. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. Um, they're not bad eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is not bad. I mean, if you want something on the go, it's perfect for that. Um, they were pigmented and they did apply. It, the only shade I had problems with was the dark shade down here. Everything else applied um, pretty good. So I do think it's a perfect on the go eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't think they actually made that eyeshadow palette. I think it was just uh, something they made for if you buy, spend a certain amount and then you got that palette for free. So it's not a terrible palette. I mean, it did work. It did apply. Um, so I did buy this eyeliner and I did use it for one of my Halloween makeup looks. I'm not going to apply it today. I didn't like it. Um... I found that you to apply it, you literally have to tug, and I'm actually tugging that on my hand, which you probably can't see, um, to get it coming out. And it's not fully black; it looks more brown than black. So I didn't actually like this. Um. So next, I am going to apply mascara you might want to give me a few minutes for this because I have to open it so this is the worth the hype mascara um, I did pay full price for this my hands are kind of slippy and wet um
So we got there. So this is the Worth the Hype mascara, as I was saying. Um, the color is black. It's meant to be volumizing and lengthening mascara. So I'm going to do this always, as the way I always do it. Hold my mirror down here and apply the mascara. Uh, Okay, so you can definitely see a difference from this side to this side. Um, I wouldn't say it's made a great difference with um, volumizing. I think, uh, no, sorry, lengthening. It has volumized, it has not lengthened. So I still find the same with this side as well, that it has not um, lengthened, it has volumized. So it's not a terrible mascara. Um, I mean, it's a mascara, it works. Uh, but it doesn't really lengthen, it does give volume. Um, the next thing that I want to talk to you about is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lips. I have tried both of these liquid lips. I'm going to hold them up there. There we go, they're the Lingerie Liquid Lips. Um, I do not like these. I find that they are very drying and I just don't like them because I think they're very drying and they really emphasize your lips um, and they really dry them out. Um, one thing that I am going to try is the Powder Puff Lippy in the shade... Okay, I don't actually know how to pronounce that because it's like... Oh, here we go. Best Buds. There we go. Um, it's a pink shade and um, here's what it looks like so that's the pink shade and these are weird because the how they apply is you have this like cotton piece up here you squeeze it out keep squeezing till it comes out here we go it's coming out so that's what it looks like now we're squeezing it out and then you just apply it to your lips So it's a cream to powder uh, liquid lip, uh, but it's matte. Uh, it feels quite nice and I actually like the texture of it and how it feels on your lips. It's a really nice shade. It's just like the perfect nude shade. It's quite nice and I feel like it matches this blush really nicely. Um, 
I'm going to take it off because I have another shade that I want to try as well. The next shade that I have is a more of a mauve pink shade. So I'm just going to take this off. I'm just going to dry off my lips and just use my foundation brush to go over that to make my, in case any foundation came off. So the next shade is, as I said, a mauve pink shade in the shade Pop Quiz. So this is actually more like a dark purpley shade than a mauve pink, but we're going to try it anyway and see how it looks. So again, this is what it looks like and you keep squeezing out the product until it comes out and there you go. That's when it comes out. Ooh. So this is a really plummy, dark colour. It's a really good autumn colour. I do like having this neutral eye look with the dark plum colour. It'd be perfect for autumn. This look in general would be perfect for autumn. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, I don't have anything else to try. Overall, a lot of the products worked and they were good. The only thing I didn't like was the blush with how long it took to apply. The eyeshadow palette wasn't the best. And the mascara, you know, it, it was a mascara. It didn't really do anything special. And the last thing that I'm going to do is use the finishing setting spray. Um, this is a matte finish spray. There we go. Um, I really like the lip products. As I said, the lip lingerie, I hated those products when I tried them. Uh, that's why I didn't want to try them out in this video because I really don't like them. Um, other than that, everything else kind of worked. Um, my The highlight is my favorite. And I actually really like these lip puffs. Um, they feel very comfortable on my lips um, and I don't have anything bad to say about them. They're really pigmented and they applied really easily. The bronzer, it's not a bad bronzer. It's actually really nice. Um, the foundation, I did like how it applies. I like how it looks. The concealer, it's not bad either. You just have to apply a lot actually is what I found. The eyebrow pencil, I tried it before. I'm not a fan of it, um, so I won't be using it again. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Thanks guys.